Book of Health covering him. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Quick take of our broadcast this morning. Wanted to bring you up to speed on a few things that are going on. Well, I guess in reality, the world is just falling apart. There's nothing but chaos all over the world. Uh, in Hawaii, there has been an attack there, uh, seeming to be some type of terrorist attack building. Also, a uh, 36 floor building is burned to the ground or caught on fire. <laughs> Excuse me. And just really terrorist scenes everywhere. It seems in every part of the world. Uh, also, India, China still at odds with one another with skirmishes on their borders as well. Uh, and then we have this article here that comes out on a South Korean news site. North Korea, for the first time, has allowed a photograph of their silo, their hidden underground bunker where they're keeping their intercontinental ballistic missiles. Uh, that could be a signal that the United States uh, might, if they have any idea of where the missiles are coming in and out at, they may actually target that in a strike in order to keep them from being able to get these missiles outside of their underground bunker. Something that I just thought I would kind of throw your way. Very interesting idea, but uh, again, it's breaking news. Something North Korea has never shown before is where these missiles are actually being housed at. Not to say that the Pentagon doesn't already know. I'm sure through their own satellite footage they have watched uh, Kim Jong-un move these missiles in and out of these silos here. Uh, but it's certainly, for, for North Korea, it is a deterrent because the United States, unless they can hit with pinpoint accuracy these, this nuclear arsenal, uh, it could end up in a very bad situation for the West. According to statistics by some analysts, these nuclear warheads, these new ICBMs that he is using, could reach all the way to Colorado. Uh, that is not good to hear at all. Uh, also, there was another article that I shared the other day. The THAAD missile system that is in uh, South Korea, North Korea could actually overwhelm the system. If they launched enough missiles and they have the capability to do so, could over, uh, overwhelmingly swamp the THAAD system and destroy it. Just North Korea alone. This was something I thought about as well with Russia and Syria with the S-300, S-400 system there. If they don't have enough of the systems there as well, they too could be overran by the NATO force. And believe me, the U.S. knows the shock and awe and how to overcome these types of systems. Uh, another unsettling news is coming out of Germany uh, on uh, Jihad Watch. Germany expecting up to 300,000 more Muslim migrants in 2017 through family reunification rules. Well, if that's 2017, what about 2018? I mean, the numbers are going to soar. We're about to see a complete world takeover. But I think it's all part of the plan of the New World Order, the globalist agenda. You have to have chaos so that they can have a remedy for chaos this is why we see the Pope of Rome calling for the United States to come under a global government and also for the European Union to become one nation and not all the multitude of nations. They are definitely working on putting together Satan's empire. And by the way, I am going to be coming back to this issue on the Antichrist, uh, this Roman Antichrist as I brought out. I want to share with you because I've, I've done this in other teachings years ago, but I need to really come back and update all of this and really go deeper into this revelation that I have. He is not just Roman. He is Assyrian. He is also Jewish. It is all three combined, and it is biblical to show that it is an Abrahamic seed that brings out this Antichrist spirit. It's also interesting because I had some people say, well, Steve, what about the alien Antichrist? I still believe the Vatican is going to try to introduce an alien as the Antichrist. That doesn't detract from that at all. But what it is, is Yeshua showing you who the real guy is. That's what I found interesting. So anyway, one other thing I wanted to share with you, something we uh, shared on our Twitter account. And by the way, if you've not followed us on Twitter, uh, there are three or four Twitter accounts. I've had friends that helped us in the beginning put some together. Unfortunately, I'm not on the others because I didn't have passwords at the time or I lost it, whatever the case may be. We'd put together our own Twitter account. It's called Israeli News Live at Stephen Dinoon. Dinoon is the name I write under. It's my father's name, 
Ben-Noon is the origin of our name, which is my real name. Stephen Denoon, D-E-N-O-O-N. So Israeli News Live at Stephen Denoon is our Twitter account. But the Namir Tiger, uh, I follow him. He's a Syrian guy. He posted this video, very concerning if you ask me. Uh, and this video here, I'll kind of blow it up on your screen for you here. That This is a White Helmets video footage, or at least their logo is on there, the Syrian Civil Defense, the White Helmets, showing how they're able to fake uh, footage for uh, disaster videos. Now, it looks like this guy's got a compound fracture. His hand is, uh, is backed up. Then he takes a butter knife, and he scrapes off the makeup that's used to make it. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but if you go to our Twitter page there, Israeli News Live at Stephen Denoon. Uh, you can see this clearly, how this is actually done, what the guy does in the video there. Again, uh, he shows the compound fracture, takes like a butter knife, just scrapes it off like it's no big deal. Uh, I'm kind of freezing up on the video here, but when you look at it, you'll be able to see it much better. Uh, a lot of things are happening. We know that President Trump met with President Macron uh, in, in France. <clears throat> I've always been a little bit suspicious of Macron. But uh, it's almost as if we're given the illusion that they're trying to work things out. Uh, Rome is not going to sit back for that. I can tell you that now. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I hope for the best, but I still i am just a little bit skeptical regardless. Uh, anyway, I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom and God bless you.